Hello my dear students and teachers Greetings from Dr V C Sahir Today in this video I will explain how to apply for summer research fellowship program SRFP offered by Indian Academies of Science This is a 2 months summer fellowship program that enables the students and teachers in India to work with scientists and academicians in most prestigious institutions like uh, Indian Institute of Technologies IITs Indian Institute of Science IISc and various other prestigious institutes in India Before we begin if you want to get more updates of uh, this kind of fellowships and academic news You can uh, subscribe to my channel. My channel link is youtube.com slash Dr. V C Sahir. You can also scan this QR code and uh, subscribe to my channel. So let me tell you what is actually SRFP, Summer Research Fellowship Program. So it's a, a fellowship offered by Indian Academies of Science. There are three Indian Academies of Science in India, and this fellowship is for a short-term research for. not more than 2 months there is a selection procedure and once you get selected you can undergo research activities at various iits nits iisc and other prestigious institutions let me now tell you a few words about the three academies science academies in india the first one is located in bangalore Second one is Indian National Science Academy INSA that is located in New Delhi and the third one is the National Academy of Science Now the science academies are meant to promote progress in pure and applied branches of science it encourages researches in science by giving fellowships it also represents the scientific work of India internationally So these three science academies do their best job to represent the scientific work of India globally. Now why you want to choose this fellowship summer research fellowship? There are many reason. One is it is one of the most competitive research internship in India. Once you selected you can work with scientists, researchers and professors of IITs, IISc, ICERs etc. Another thing is that there are around 1500 fellowships every year so you have high chance of getting one of them and uh, the most important one is it becomes a benchmark in your research career you can excel your uh, academics as well as your research because you can work with uh, most eminent professors in India that will definitely enhance your research career Let me now tell you the different areas of SRFP. Those who are in the field of engineering, in the field of science such as chemistry, life sciences, mathematics, earth science and planetary sciences as well as physics students and teachers can apply for this fellowship. Now before you start filling the application form, you have to fill it online. You have to take care of a few things. So this is the link you can use to apply for the fellowship. You can also scan this QR code for launching the application window. Now before you apply, you have to keep ready all your mark sheets starting from 10th standard onwards and your scanned file should be less than 700 KB size. And the deadline for this year's SRFP is 30th November 2020. Now you have to keep in mind that you can submit the application form only once. Now if you apply more than once for this particular year, then your application will not be considered. So be careful to submit your application only once. Now another important thing is that you have to prepare a write-up in not more than 250 words. This write-up should reflect an idea about you and your area of research and in what area of research you want to work with a particular guide. This is one of the important thing that you have to keep in mind because based on your write-up or your statement of purpose you will be filtered during your uh, selection process and should be less than 250 words 
and if you are a student you need a letter of recommendation from a faculty or head of the department of your institute let me now tell you who can apply for SRFP those who are in second year undergraduate course like a BSc, BS or BBSc can apply they should be in second year for B farm they should be in third and fourth years only first and second years cannot apply for engineering students or BCA second and third year students can apply for postgraduate students like MS, MSc or MVSc or MPharm only first year students can apply in the in the engineering field ME, MTech, MCA or MARC similarly first year students can apply now for farm D and dual degree students these are the criterion integrated PhD students can also apply but they should be either in first year or second year now let me tell you the selection criteria for SRFP the first thing is it depends upon the write-up that you are giving that is the statement of purpose the statement should clearly specify your area of interest and your area of expertise if you are a teacher if you write anything else that does not match with your domain of expertise you will be probably landing up in trouble and never do such activities you should write specifically your area of interest the second thing is uh, uh, your CGPA or your marks percentage of qualifying examination and the third thing is the availability of SRFP now about stipends you will get a round trip uh, train fare from your institute to the institute where you are going to do your summer research and you will get a stipend of around 20,000 uh, for students it will be a little less and for teachers it's around 20,000 rupees a month you will get accommodation in an institute where you are selected for your uh, summer research sometimes you have to pay for the accommodation as well in the next couple of minutes I will tell you the step-by-step -step, uh, process of filling the application form the first thing is you have to go through the instruction page before uh, filling the application online and you have to keep in mind all the instructions that I had already told you before uh, before filling the application form you can scan this QR code to get the instruction page now in step 2 you have to go through the guides list this is another important step because uh, this will provide you a better insight of the research fields which your guides are into and if your area of interest matches with the area of uh, the guide that is there in the guides list you can choose that guide you can scan this QR code to get the link of the guides list so now let me go to the guides list So here are the list of guides. There are a number of uh, guides that are listed. Their name, uh, specialization, area of interest and sub area of interest. And it also lists the applicant type whether only students can apply or both students and teachers can apply. And it lists also the accommodation status. So for example for the first guide only students can apply and accommodation is not available. For the uh, fifth guide, both the students and teachers can apply and accommodation is also available. You can see who that guide is. Guide is uh, Dr. Abhilash NLM Jamshedpur, who is specialized in the area of chemistry. Similarly, you can search here, say for example, if I search Satrajit, you can see that Professor Satrajit Adhigari, who is there, whose uh, uh, area of interest is in chemistry and uh, whose specialization is in uh, uh, the breakdown of bond up and approximation, quantum classical dynamics, molecular surface scattering, triatomic research dynamics. And if you go to far right, you can see only students can apply and accommodation is not available. So you have to see all these things and you have to find out a guide 
who better matches with your area of interest that's a crucial step now you can choose your guides list and make a table of this kind this is the table that i have prepared so here are the guides whose specialization matches with my area of interest so it's easy for you to move ahead with uh, your application form so let's go back to the presentation so once you choose your guide you have to check their most recent work in their institute web page So for example if i want to search for more details about professor satrajit adhikari then i can simply copy this and paste it here in the address bar that will give you the details about professor satrajit adhikari if you go inside you can see that his areas of research interest is given in somewhat more detail you can find a uh, uh, publications teaching departments and all other details here so similarly you have to find out uh, the details of other guides that you are interested to work with him and that's about the step 3 and one important thing you have to keep in mind is uh, is that you should not send personal messages to mentors before you get the selection that may lead to cancellation of your uh, application and in the fourth step i will tell you how to fill and submit your uh, form carefully so this is the link uh, bit.ly/kmmis if you click on this link application form will be loaded So in the bottom part of the application you can find click here to register. You have to click on here. You can also launch the application form by scanning this QR code. So if you click on this button you will be taken on to another window where you have to select your category if you are a student you have to choose this if you are a teacher you have to choose this one and your uh, broad area of interest should also be selected. Once you select the area of interest you have to click next if you click next then it will ask you to select the sub area under your subject so you have to choose one among them to me it's physical chemistry so i selected physical then click next if you click next then you have to fill your personal details first so here is the window that will ask you to enter the personal details So you should be very careful in not making any uh, minor mistakes that may lead to cancellation of your application form. Once you fill all these personal details, you have to fill the academic details then. So from here you can enter all the details here starting from 10th standard onwards, year of uh, completion of your SSLC or 10th. You have to select the maximum mark or CGPA by selecting it here and marks obtained either in percentage or cgpa where you studied your sslc or plus 2 here now after that you have to give the details of graduation once you give the details of graduation you can see it is similar to the previous one only one thing you have to keep in mind is that you have to enter your marks in core subjects only that is excluding the languages Once you fill the graduation details you have to give the post graduation details and then you have to give all these details in the end in the number 16th you have to give a write up here you have to type the write up that that should not exceed 250 words that should be between 150 and 250 words So uh, I would suggest you to write it separately in a, a word document and then copy paste it here. So you can see here this is my write up and uh, that has exactly 250 words. You can see here it is 250 words. You can copy and paste it to that text box. 
so once you do this uh, you have to give a declaration and in the end you have to submit your application immediately after submitting your application you will be taken on to a page where you have to upload your scorecards you can click here to upload your mark list and before you uploading your mark list you you should keep in mind that all mark sheet should be less than 700 kb it should have a jpeg format and if you are a teacher or a researcher you have to upload the list of publication and that should be in pdf format which should not exceed 2 mb file size now this is the window where you can upload your mark list here uh, from starting from 10th you have to upload 12th graduation post graduation integrated phd publication and all those things if you are doing your graduation you have to upload 10th and 12th mark list if you are a post graduate a student you have to upload 10th 12th and graduation and similarly all other things so once you upload you have to click here to submit button and if you do that that would finish your application procedure so once you finish the application form you will get a mail providing an application id here uh, the id is uh, chet43 and if you want to get a printout of the application form you have to click on this link and uh, you have to enter your email address and uh, this application id to get the printable version of your application form so if you upload all the application forms and submit it to their server you will get a message saying that your mark sheets uploaded successfully this completes your application form so thank you for your time if you want to get updates about various fellowships you have to subscribe to my channel and my channel link is here youtube.com slash dr vc sahir alternately you can get the channel link by scanning this qr code so that's it thank you very much